You can use favorites to quickly access the pages that you access most frequently. To access the favorites, click on the star icon in the left navigation pane. Here you can see I have already pinned the All Sales Orders page. To add something to your favorites, simply browse to the page that you want to add to your favorites and then click the star next to that item. When you go back to favorites, you'll see your new links are now added into the favorites pane and you can quickly and easily access these pages. You can quickly navigate to any page in the system by using the search bar at the top of the application. To get your cursor in this field, you can simply click or you can press Control and the forward slash together. Once your cursor is in the search for a page dialog, you can go ahead and start typing. You can type entire words and you'll notice that the system starts to show you results based on what you've typed. But let's say I want to go to Accounts Payable Parameters. I can simply type the P for Payable, a space, and then a P for Parameters, and you'll notice that the search narrows it down for me. I can press Enter to select a result, or you can use your arrows to navigate through the selections and choose a different page. Now if I realized I didn't actually want to go to Accounts Payable Parameters and instead I wanted to go to Accounts Receivable Parameters, while that page is still open, I can conduct another search and quickly navigate to another page. When you open up a particular details page, you can perform an action search. For this example, I'll navigate into the All Sales Orders page, and then I'll click to open a sales order. Now that I'm on a detailed page, I can start to use the action search. The action search is found in the action pane up at the top right hand corner of the action pane. You can simply click in the icon or you can press Control and the single quotation mark on your keyboard to put your cursor in this field. Then you can start typing the name of one of the buttons on any of the tabs in the action pane. I'll start typing invoice and here you can see all the different buttons that are available for invoicing. If I wanted to generate an invoice, I can simply press enter or click on the invoice option in the drop down box and the system will open up that new page. You can attach documents to any record in Dynamics 365. For this example, I'm going to attach a resume to a worker. So I'll navigate into the workers page by using the search at the top, and I'll select the worker that I want to attach a record to. In the upper right hand corner, you can see the attachments icon. You can access this by pressing Control shift a on your keyboard. You'll also notice a number that indicates the number of attachments on this particular record. Currently, it's zero. We'll click the icon and click New and choose File to attach a new file. Then I'm going to browse to the resume. I'll select the file and click Open. Now you can see the document has been attached into Dynamics 365. When I scroll down, I'll be able to see a preview of this in the preview pane. This allows me to quickly and easily see all of the documents that are attached to a particular record. When I close the record and go back, you can see now the attachment icon is adorned with a one to indicate that there is one attachment on this record. You can quickly and easily switch between records on a detail page without having to close the window and go back to the list page. For this example, I'm going to navigate into the All Purchase Orders page. Then in the All Purchase Orders page, I'll click to open up the Details page for a purchase order. Here on the left nav pane, you can see a button called Show List. You can access this by pressing Ctrl and F8 on your keyboard. I like to refer to this as the half-eaten hamburger button for fun. 
Now, to switch between records, you can simply click on another purchase order and see the details without needing to close the window and going back to the purchase order list page. To collapse the pane, simply click the hide list button again.